Hi, this is John Clifford working with Jatai. What we're going to be doing today on Alison's hair is a very current, up-to-date style. Um, it's a style that is very popular in Hollywood at the moment. It goes around every few years um, as all the actresses grow their hair out and then they decide to fry it with chemicals and color and stuff like that, then they want to cut their hair off again. So we're going to be doing a current, trendy pixie cut. Alison's hair is um, quite fine texture, so we're going to be utilizing that and showing off as much texture as we can and trying to get as much volume out of her hair as possible. Because her hair is very fine, it tends to lay very flat to her head. So again, we're going to be using multiple tools, multiple razors with different texturing blades to get as much lift and volume and movement in her hair as possible. Just turning her around slightly, we're going to be taking the nape in quite close, um, detailing our nape area. This is going to be cut over the ear on both sides. And the whole objective of this haircut is that she can style it very easily, five minutes out of the door, very little to no product and be on her way. So we're going to be starting with saturating her hair with some blade glide and then we'll section it off and begin the cut. Okay, now that we've finished saturating Allison's hair with the blade glide, we're going to be moving on to our sectioning next, but I wanted to say that the reason I love to use the blade glide is because it prepares the hair most excellently for razor cutting. What I mean by that is that the blade glide itself has pro-vitamin B5 in it, um, also known as panthenol, which is very softening to the hair, makes the blade glide through the hair. It's not going to catch. It's going to be comfortable for you to cut the hair. It's also going to be very comfortable for your client to receive the haircut. I love this stuff, to be honest. I use it just for scissor cuts even because it just makes everything so much easier. And we all love easiness when we come to doing work every day. So, like I said, her hair's been completely saturated. We'll go on to sectioning next, and then we'll begin the haircut. Okay, we're going to start off by sectioning off Allison's haircut. Um, like I've said previously, and I continue to do in all of my haircuts, we need a plan of action. If we don't have that plan of action, to build a foundation, we have no plan to go off. So if we don't have a plan, we can't really proceed. We're just guessing at that point. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be sectioning off the nape area of Allison's haircut just to isolate it because I'm going to be using a different tool in this area. On the nape, I'm going to be using a flexion razor just because it's very much easier to get into the nape area. Again side area, I'm just keeping out of the way at this point. We're just isolating the nape. No. I'm going to be doing the same on the other side yeah. for that same section. And again, get all this hair out of the way. We don't need it right now. We're not focusing on it. As we're sectioning off the hair, I want you also to notice that we're using Jatai Lucky Grip Clips, which is a sectioning clip, yes, we've all seen them before, but these clips have a very strong hold and they're excellent at gripping the hair. No harsh teeth you can see to rip the hair cuticle inside, so that's a very good benefit of these clips. They can hold a lot of hair out of the way, that's where we want it. So we're going to be going through the nape area using our flexion razor. The only reason I'm using this is because I can keep the handle out of the way and I can work very close to the nape area of the hair. If I had a longer handle razor, it's going to be much more difficult for me to get into this tight area. So that's the reason I'm going to be using my flexion razor. Also, you notice that we're having a texture blade. The reason I'm using this throughout this haircut is because, like I said previously, we want to show off a lot of texture throughout this haircut. Allison's haircut is very fine, doesn't have a lot of lift to it. So the more texture that we can put into it will give us more volume and more movement, which is exactly the desired look we're going for. Okay, we're going to be starting Allison's haircut in the nape. Initial section is going to be right down the middle and I'm going to be trying to get a lot of tension on the hair and decide my angle. Like I said, we're going to be cutting this hair quite short and with lots of texture. So I'm going to go in and talking about blade angle, this is the perfect time. A lot of people try and cut hair with a razor by cutting directly straight down. To me, 
This was never taught to me and I don't really like the technique because there's one reason. It really stresses out the hair. And if you push down on hair, you're not getting really a good cutting line. You're forcing it into somewhere else before it tends to snap. So the way I like to use razors is I'm holding my section out, I go in with my blade flat and then slowly increase my blade angle until the hair starts coming off. As I feel it through, I'm walking the razor down and make the hair nice and soft at the nape. We're going to detail this out later, but right now what I'm concerned about is where the weight of that section is and how it's pertaining to the whole haircut. Like I said in the beginning, we need a plan. So we're planning our sections all the way around, all the way up into the occipital, planning our sections forward, and then planning on what we're going to be doing with the top. All of that cannot happen unless we start at a great starting point. And that's what I'm saying is important by having your plan from the beginning. So we're going to be moving on to our next section. Either side is fine if you want to work from left to right or right to left, it's okay. We'll be picking our next section up, finding our guide from the previously cut section and matching it. Again, start with the blade flat and then slowly increase your angle until the hair is coming off. A nice soft textured look. Next section, we're going to be moving around again. Another point that you need to take care of is your body position. We need to be facing our section every single time. If we don't and we stay in the same position, each section that we take is going to be brought back to that cutting line, which is going to increase length throughout those sections. So we'll end up with very short in the middle and then getting gradually longer towards the outsides of the section. That's okay if you're meaning to do that, but if you're not, then it's a problem. We don't want a buildup of weight on either end, so we're going to be moving our sections consistently around, which means that we're moving our body position consistently around. So on to our next section. Same thing. We pick it up with our comb. Looking for our guide underneath. Increase our angle till the blade is cutting nicely. Take it down. If you see that we have hairs on the ends here, we don't have to worry about those at this point. We're going to go through in detail later, but if they bug you like they bug me, we can just take them off. Next section, we notice that I'm taking a step around, again, to move my body in line with the section. Play flat, slowly increasing your angle until the hair comes off and cut nicely. move our chair a little bit, move our client where it makes it easier for us to work, take the next section, pick the hair up, make sure we have even consistency with our tension all the way throughout the haircut, again blade flat in, look for our guide, slowly cut it off short. If we have the odd hairs that don't reach, we can always go in and take them off again, no problem. It's a lot easier to take the hair off than it is to add it. So our last section on this side, again we don't want to build up weight, we want to keep it consistently with our body position and moving around the head. Now you can see that we first nape section is already done, we're going to be moving on to the other side but I already like the softness it's giving me and I can see the buildup of weight from the angle that we created. Okay, moving on to the next side. Again, we're picking up our central guide, following it around the head and cutting our hair consistently with the other guides. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the perimeter at this point because we can go through with our detail razor later. But the long hairs, if they bug you, by all means take them off. Again, we're gonna follow around the head shape, move our body position so that we're not over directing the hair in any way. We're staying consistently with the head shape. Okay. 
Next section, picking up the guide from the previous section. Hold the hair out, look for the guide and consistently cut it down. Now we're just going to continue on. Same technique, slowly increasing your blade angle till you get the desired cut. And then we're going to move on to our final section on this side. Just going to pick up these few pieces and remove them so that they don't bug me. Like I said, we're not detailing this area out yet because that's what we'll be doing later. We're just starting our initial shape and getting our stack started for the rest of the haircut.